So this here is a sea urchin in, in time lapse, uh, and uh, today I'm going to put one of its spines. These are the the the, the needles, not not really needles, the spikes almost uh, uh, that they have, um, and uh, I'm going to put them under the microscope. Hi, hello, and welcome, microbe hunter here. And uh, yes, uh, I found this uh, specimen here in Croatia a few years ago, and uh, they're pretty uh, scary looking creatures and uh, very uncomfortable if if you step on them. And when you look um, in to, in, in the sand, you might be able to find uh, some of those uh, sea urchin um, spines uh, between the sand grains. I just want to show them to you as well. So here under the stereo microscope, uh, this uh, here, these here are some some fragments of, of uh, those spines that are found uh, in in the sand. Uh, we can actually zoom in a little bit more um, as well. Um, and uh, yeah, they're not only round, but they have this uh, yeah interesting uh, surface texture as, as well. Um, and uh, I, I was quite lucky because I was also able to find an antique microscope slide, one that's uh, probably over 100 years old, um, with a cross section of uh, those. Uh, I think it's almost uh, Im impossible for me to actually cut them um, because uh, they're quite hard. Um, but luckily, um, the microscope slide that I have um, essentially shows uh, uh, a spine here in cross section. So this here is uh, is the slide. Um, yeah. <laughs> difficult to, to read handwriting. Uh, but this little thing that you see in the center here, that is uh, the cross section of the spine. Um, let's put it under the microscope. It looks uh, quite nice. Well, and this here is uh, the cross section of the spine. I think it does look uh, quite uh, quite pretty, um, and uh, it is made of calcium carbonate. Um, so, um, and uh, of course, also other minerals. Um, and this is how it looks like. Uh, and uh, I'm quite happy that uh, the quality uh, of the specimen is so extremely high because uh, the slide, as I already mentioned, is, is is quite old. Let's go up with the magnification a little bit. Yeah, when we look um, at the, the cross section here in more detail, we can see that there seem to be uh, some gaps and holes in the spine. Um, and I do assume that uh, these are also the places uh, where the spine is fed nutrients, because after all, these spines are able to grow as, as well. So they are living structures. Um, and uh, those little gaps and holes that you see in here, I mean, and that is my hypothesis here, um, probably were filled uh, with uh, cells. Uh, um, that be essentially started to deposit uh, the calcium carbonate that the spine um, is made of. Um, I also found uh, a <laughs> quite a, a nice uh, um, example of a um, yeah of a sea urchin uh, skeleton here without spines. Um, so occasionally you are able to find them also. Um, yeah, um, and uh, this is. Uh, a specimen that we found when we did a marine biological excursion a couple of months uh, months ago. Yeah, obviously, uh, um, all of those spines uh, that were on the surface, they've broken off. And then with erosion, then, of course, uh, they fragment into smaller pieces and then they become part uh, of the sand uh, um, in, in the ocean. Okay, so, yeah, and uh, let's go up uh, yet uh, further a little bit with the magnification. And, um, yeah, it kind of uh, illustrates here that... Uh, yeah, there seem to be also some kind of pigments um, inside the spine, so that means there are different colors as well. And I think uh, it uh, does appear to be a little bit like this, that the spine seems to deposit layer by layer Yeah, towards the outside. There seem to be kind of almost like ring-shaped structures over here, almost like the rings of a tree. And I wonder um, if not uh, periodically uh, different uh, layers are deposited on the outside um, when the sea urchin actually grows. Uh, I have, I'm guessing right now, um, but uh, very it's very common in biology that uh, structures um, essentially starts to grow from the outside and the uh, new material is deposited uh, then on the outside. Yeah, so um, just wanted to share this, uh, this uh, beautiful specimen, um, uh, beautiful specimen with you here. Um, and uh, I think I'm just going to leave it at that uh, for right now. Wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time. Bye-bye.